Julie Bishop has been forced to deny she helped bring down Tony Abbott after it emerged her most senior adviser met with the plotters on the eve of the coup. The revelations have overshadowed Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's first visit to Indonesia. The Foreign Minister in the middle of a domestic political storm and a media frenzy. Over revelations, her chief of staff was at a secret meeting of Turnbull plotters at MP Peter Hendy's home the night before the former Prime Minister was brought down. Great way to start the day. Julie Bishop admitted she knew her trusted adviser was at the crucial gathering. I did not know who would be attending the meeting and of course, like all chiefs of staff, they feed back the information that they've learned. The deputy leader denies she was part of a plot to overthrow the former Prime Minister. It was part of my job, as it had been all year, to find out what the backbench were thinking. She's uh, been a long-standing and excellent deputy leader of the party, so she has what my 110% uh, confidence. Abbott loyalists, though, were demanding an explanation. Your question does need to be answered whether the Chief of Staff was there on a frolic of his own or with the imprimatur of the Deputy Leader. As the leadership wounds open once again, the new Prime Minister boarded a plane heading to Jakarta to mend a relationship with excess baggage. A stopover on Malcolm and Lucy Turnbull's way to Europe but deeply symbolic, a signal to Indonesia of its importance to Australia. Thank you very much indeed. Malcolm Turnbull's the first Australian Prime Minister to visit since a Bali 9 executions and the breakdown of relations. In the next 10 days, a Prime Minister will visit five countries attending three international summits. He has one chance to make a good first impression on the world stage. Lane Calcutt, 9 News, Jakarta.